sustainable innovation YouTube channel where we talk about sustainable farming practices, sustainable energy efficiency, and water conservation. I'm your host, Anne Okello, and today we are going to talk about dairy farming. In dairy farming today, we are going to focus on waste management at the dairy farm. And in this aspect, we are going to look at different aspects on how can we use the waste from the dairy to produce feeds for poultry. And how can we use this waste to produce organic manure which we can use in our kitchen garden to help us have vegetables and also use these vegetables to increase our household income. Please stay tuned for the details. Thank you. The solid waste that we get from the unit, we normally bring them here. That is the dung and the feed that has been swept from the unit. We normally bring them here. Here, we put them for, like you can see this one has just been brought today in the morning. So we do bring them here for eight weeks. We keep on turning them, turning them until they decompose. Once they decompose, now here I already have feed for my chicken. I do have a Kenyeji chicken that I keep. This is where I get the red worms where they feed. The evening once they, they come here, they scratch around and get their feed from here. They get their protein. Of course the earthworm are normally very rich in protein for the chicken. So I don't have to go look for protein for my chicken again. Already they get them from the waste that is coming from the animals. Also after those eight weeks the manure is almost ready to be taken to the farm. Once you use them to the, on the, in the farms, the plants do very well. So that is how we manage the solid waste. And I told you before also the urine. Apart from just uh, to avoid the leaching, you know when it rains and this place is open, once it rains and there is sun, it, there is what we call leaching. So before we take the the waste to the farm, we also get that urine, add here, give it two or three days so that the nitrogen is high. And so that nitrogen, once you now take it to the farm, it is a very rich fertilizer. Now it is very clear that the interrelationship and the impact dairy farming has to our farm and the impact it has on the climate change with all this organic matter into the soil. There is no more chemical that we have organic fertilizer which is going to be used on the farm. With all this happening, the household here, their income is going to increase because there's no money this family is going to use in buying feeds because the organic manure from here is what they're going to use to produce feeds. Organic manure produced from here, they are going to have their vegetable garden. The same, same place that they are going to using for their compost is where they are getting all the earthworms for their animal. This is now a cyclic system and this is what we need for our daily operations. Please try to embrace dairy farming because it has multiplier benefit. The health and the nutrition of the family will increase. Their income will increase. And now with all this, we are also fighting climate change. What next are we looking for? Join the dairy farming company. Now this is my farm where I plant the fodder for my animals. This is mulatto and in the far end I have uh, napier. So the, the waste from the unit is what I bring here. Like you can even see these ones. I bring it here and it helps me. You can see how green this one is. And you know the greener the grass, the better or the more nutritious it is for the animal. So I do bring the, the, the manure and put it on the grass or on the soil. And after some time, like these ones after we had cut the grass, we bring in the manure, the waste, and then they grow within a very short time. I would say after two weeks, I'd be harvesting this one again and take it to the animals. So all that is the benefit of waste management. Still the benefit of uh, manure from the unit. Now we also use it for the vegetables and you can see how healthy the vegetables look like because it is purely organic. The manure, the waste from the farm, that is what we use here. 
as I told you, the, the dung, once we take it, turn it, we add urine, and then that manure eventually we use it on the farm. And now you can look at the vegetables, you can see they look so healthy. No pesticide, no fertilizer. We only use the organic manure from the unit. To make this kitchen garden, what I usually do, I get the soil, we put it one to one. One wheelbarrow of soil, one wheelbarrow of manure. Then once we mix them, like this one, I used 15 wheelbarrows. Now you make the layers. Once you've made the layers, you put the, so, the, the manure. The manure that was for, made from the, from the waste there. One wheelbarrow of manure, one wheelbarrow of soil, until you make 15. 15 is able to make this one. And then after that, you just plant. Now the material we use here, we do get it. It's a waste material from fish farming. So that is what helps us to make this and then we are able to get vegetable. Now the advantage of using this, you can realize if I was to plant the vegetable I'm getting here, if I was to plant it on the farm, then it take a very big area. So that is what will help me now. This one, I'll just use a very small area and get a lot of vegetables that I'm able to use. As I've said before, I told you, if I was to plant this vegetable on the, just on the farm, on the land, then I would use a, a larger area. But you can see this one, just a small area like this, then I get a lot of vegetables. Sometimes it's even more than enough for me to use. Uh, maybe I can sell a bit, but most of it I just use in the kitchen. Another advantage of using this type of, uh, of, uh, of kitchen garden is water. As you know, my, in this area, water is not, uh, it's scarce. I have to use tanks to get water. So once I use, like uh, in most cases, I would use just one, one jerry can. Is it 20 liters? 20 liters would be enough to, for this whole one and this one. As compared to, if I was just to put it on the farm, then 20 liters would not really be enough for that. But once I use 20 liters for this, that is a whole day and uh, it, it, it's well done. So that's the advantage why it's better to use this modern kitchen garden as compared to the one that we just put on the farm. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I've really appreciated you taking your time to watch our first, second and third episode on dairy farming. Please leave for us a comment on any topic that you want us to, to discuss should either be on sustainable farming practices, energy efficiency or water conservation. Stay tuned for the next and last episode under dairy farming where we are going to talk about the relationship between dairy farming and climate change and how dairy farming has positive impact on climate change. Subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell, like this channel, leave for us a comment so that you can know which direction to take. Thanks so much and stay tuned for the next and last episode on Daily Club.